Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum with me, Zenf. So in the last episode, uh, we went through the Eterna Forest with Cheryl, and sadly, I had to let go of our Psyduck, which was Chris Bacon, because it can't learn cut. So I had to find a Bidoof, which is pretty easy, and we named him Chris Bacon. And now he is our new HM uh, Pokemon, so we just uh, use all the HMs on him. Uh, maybe except for a few really good ones like Surf and Fly because those are also good attacking moves. So, uh, off screen, I did some grinding as usual. And uh, I also I also um, got the experience share from uh, one of Professor Rowan's assistants here. So, I can't go beyond this point because, look, cycling, ro cycling road is only for bicycles. Please get on your bicycle. So, yeah. So we're not we're not allowed. We can't go on there in there until we actually have a bicycle. And guess what? I tried to use cut outside of battle, but apparently we can't. Right? We can't. So we need the badge. And uh, I'm just going to see if it's closed or not. Hold on. Hi, I'm Garginia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was James. He told me about you. He said that another challenge is on the way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets the battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. And it was open the whole time. So, yeah. My bad. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're just going to take on Gardenia. And you're going to clear out that base that Team Galactic base, I believe that we are going to fight another one of the commanders. So yeah, we better prepare for that and a good way to prepare for that is obviously through battling here. So we have a super potion. That's all I need, that's all I need. And Staravia or Ariel. Uh, since uh, since uh, our starter or Aqua isn't steel type yet, he won't have the uh, neutral damage against grass. So yeah, that kinda sucks but that's it. And so before we take on this gym battle, uh, my tip is uh, don't underestimate entry moves. Entry moves like Stealth Rock, Toxic Spikes, like I told you before, I think uh, when you fought Roar, they're really good. And you put them on a Pokemon that's uh, really bulky. So yeah, entry moves, don't sleep on them because you're gonna get destroyed if uh, an opponent manages to set up really good entry hazards. Right off the bat, your Pokemon might get uh, toxic or damage from the stealth rock and stuff like that. So yes, do not sleep on those, please, for your own sake. Anyway, let's go to the gym and we should be able to fight Gardenia and the trainers. Alright, I also got the I also got this uh friendship meter. Like you can see in the top right. So yeah, it's 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 okay I guess. It's only good for like letting me know when Eevee is, you know, max friendship. But again, the evolution we're gonna get isn't exactly like, you know, max. Uh, doesn't need max friendship, so yeah. How's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in earlier too. That gym leader Gardenia is a usual grass type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. They're also at a huge disadvantage against the flying type too. Oh wait a second, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge the gym leader until you beat all the gym's trainers. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as good training and go for it. Okay, we're gonna sweep. Uh, since it's a gym, since it's a gym, uh, I might as well show all the battles to you guys, cause those are fun. And yeah, here we go. Welcome. Without further ado, let's go. All right. So last Caroline sent out Cherubi and you guys know how this is gonna go. Watch, watch, one hit, one hit. Boom. Wow, that was so fun. I have one strategy here and that is to spam the A button on wing attack. That's so great. So yeah, while we while we breeze through these trainers, uh let me just tell you. If you want to get better at competitive Pokemon, maybe you should go to... Uh, maybe you should go to... Hold on, hold on. So the floral hands are what allows us to walk, so... 
it's spinning and you have to go to the right side. Okay, anyway. So if you guys want to get better at Pokemon, I think I think it's a really I think it's a really good place to play Pokemon Showdown because it's a really accurate battle simulator. Actually, wait, no. It's accurate. It's really accurate. In fact, it's it's so accurate that it might be the original game itself. It's just mixed generations. So, yeah, um, try random battles, see what you can do, and learn about Pokemon. They say experience is the best teacher, and I fully agree with that. So, yeah, try Pokemon Showdown if you want to get better. My grass-type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win. Easily. Here we go. You are challenged by Aroma Lady Jenna. So we use up the dew. I mean, since this has poison point, I'm not really sure if... Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm not really sure if I was gonna get poisoned, but apparently we're not. So yeah, since your turn does around, I think, 70 damage right now, at least at my, my estimate, uh, we should be fine. Like I said, like the first gym, I'm not worrying. Unless, of course, Roserade is faster than us. But I don't think the Roserade is faster than us. So, yeah. The faster it withers. And, yeah, every time you beat a trainer, the Florid Rock moves. The Fountain also stops if I lose. It's so you can go to the Pokemon Center during your challenge. Oh, really? And the Fountain should stop. And, there we go. Alright, so... Now we need to face this lady, whatever this lady is. Yes. You can't win when you're dis distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. And Roselia, okay. Like Roselia's a really common. Ooh, okay. Wing attack should be able to uh get it in one hit. And we got a lot of XP. That's actually really, really good. And the time flows. Okay, there we go. Here we go, guys. Gym leader time. Gym leader Gardenia. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so, again, like I usually do, I'm going to save. Because some stuff might happen. And if that happens, we're screwed. So, here we go. The battle you've been all been waiting for. And, yeah. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus Gym Leader, Gardenia, the Grass-type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Let's go. Second Gym Badge time. So, uh, Turtwig. Withdraw. Dude, flashbacks to withdraw. That was, that was traumatizing. Oh! Oh my god! Really? Dude, that's so smart. Using a reflect? Yo! At least we do get two attacks of it. And we get a crit. Doesn't matter. Reflect is actually really good. It's such an underrated move. And Whirlwind. Do we want to learn Whirlwind? Do we? Actually, yeah, we should. Because... Uh, it's pretty good for eliminating stat changes and yeah So Cherim I think Cherim has uh, Ch I think Cherim's the one that changes form while battling Yeah, there we go magical leaf that shouldn't do anything Yeah, there we go only only 12 damage to us so I'm gonna quick attack first so that um, What's this? I'm gonna quick attack so uh we're in line with the KO with the wing attack and also so that the uh, Gardenia doesn't use a potion on the Cherim. So yeah, that's my strategy right now. And the Reflect War off, so that should be an easy one shot. There we go. 570. And here we go! Roserade! Okay, let's go. It's not the end yet. Oh, I thought it was- it's not the end yet. Wow, okay. Is this a one shot? No! What? You use a berry! Okay! And stuns for mist! Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? I'm afraid so, gym leader. And that was... That was actually easier 
then the uh, roar fight and easy 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 health easy speed and we get our stats up and we get the second gym badge so that is a big win for us that was one-sided so amazing you're very good aren't you and we got a really good amount of money I might have said it before but you're really tough wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. And we have the Forest Badge. So yeah, with the Forest Badge, your Pokemon can use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I also got something else. It's a gift from me. It's a TM for Grass Dot, I think. Yeah, there we- <laughs> Yeah! Wow, okay. So- like I said, I haven't played Sinnoh much, but I've watched a lot of playthroughs So with like challenges and stuff. So yeah, it's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage this move will cause. So yeah, there we go. Uh, yup, if there's one thing I can tell you about you, it's this. You and your Pokemon are gonna get even tougher, and I mean seriously. There we go! At least that's how I see it. Okay, whatever. Rival battle? Never mind. So let me just heal up at the Pokemon Center right now. And we are gonna get to the uh, Team Galactic building. Actually, I'm really aware that there are a lot of Galactic encounters here, so... Yeah. I'm not healing my Pokemon again. What the heck? I keep on forgetting my keyboard keys. Okay. Okay, since Max is kind of uh, uh, behind, we are going to put him there. And would you like to cut it? Yes! There we go, guys. Our entry into the base. So, like like usual, I'm going I'm going to skip the parts where we fight the grunts. Like, I, I'm fighting all the grunts because I want experience points. And we're gonna need every bit of experience we can get. Because we're gonna need to grind really big time for the... Oh, we found Thief. But anyway, uh, we're gonna need to grind hard for the uh, Elite Four and the Champion, so yeah. Hello, it is me. Me. Ha ha ha. I have startled you, yes? I am, after all, an officer of the International Police. It is only natural that I be a master of disguise. Incidentally, you are a first-rate trainer. Of that, I am very aware. I therefore think you'll be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. Uh, this building, it has two stairs. One of them, a trap it must be. But the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. Wait. Wait, what? Uh, wait, what? So, this one is a trap. So... Uh, yeah. Alright, so I beat these two. Very easy. And there we go, there's one more. Um, yeah, so apparently we, went, we fell into the trap stairs. Yeah, I'm going to the other, uh, I'm going to the other staircase. Alright, so we made it through the first pair of stairs. I'm not really sure where to go, so do we go here? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna fight these trainers. I'm s sorry, grunts. I'm just gonna fight these grunts. Alright, so we beat all the grunts, which was very easy. And since Max took a bit of damage from that, I'm going to have to, you know, uh, heal him with the potion. And of course, I'm gonna save. Alright, so here we go. There's a scientist and there's a grunt. I'm going to have to go here. Grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh no. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna fight the scientist right here. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the New World Order that our boss will lead. And he only has one Pokemon, but he has a Kadabra. Obviously, he's gonna... Oh. Obviously, he's gonna outspeed us. 
but oh that's gonna hit hard and we got the we got the confused and we still pulled through with the bubble beam so that's fine i guess a lot of xp from that too that's nice and bite uh by this useless i'm sorry by this useless oh keep old moves and yeah we're gonna give up a bite this won't go unpunished well that's sad because you fought me so yeah it's your fault so okay and right now I guess we have to go here to this patch of stairs and we have found a blue shard just three shards already and we found a revive okay nice all right so it turns out that was actually the real patch of stairs just you know I just went to get the items because why not so yeah save the game and here we go what is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? What's this item right here? Upgrade! Oh, this is what you used to evolve the uh, oh, Porygon, right? Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. So yeah, um, what's this? Commander Mars and Commander Jupiter. There we go. And uh, she has two Pokemon, which we should be easily able to take out. Fingers crossed. One HP! What the hell? Dude. They called, they called us a child. That's kind of sad. How did that live on one HP? Uh, yeah, that's Contang. Uh... The good thing is they made these like uh, galactic battles in platinum kinda hard. Actually not really kinda hard, just super hard. So Night Slash is gonna hit hard. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. And it doesn't even do anything. Yo! This is scary. Ah! Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Serious now, serious now. We actually have to. Oh, I'm so dumb. What we should have done was we actually could have, we actually could have uh, used uh, aerial for intimidate, but and we're faster than. But we should be able to get the return, and he heals with the berry. Oh god! But hopefully with the less attack, we should be able to do fine. And there we go. KO, KO, poison gas, and it missed. Easy KO, easy KO. Good job, Ariel. Good job. And we got a lot. 1, 1k XP. Losing to some child. Being careless cost me too much. And 1,840. Well, aren't you tough? That's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Wind Works. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is research researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of myth mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs, affairs from now on. This is your last warning. And of course, we don't listen to those warnings. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But that Team, the, but, but that team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over! Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Yep. Obviously, this guy is the uh, cycling owner. Uh, yeah, obviously, this guy is the <coughs> owner of the cycling shop. So, what we're gonna do right now is... I'm just gonna cut it to the part where we're at the bicycle shop and when we're fully healed. And yeah. Alright, so we have to get a bike. And Cynthia is here, okay. Oh, there you are. Uh, I was looking for you, I got something nice. I wanted you, have, you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Yes, we will. That's wonderful. The Pokemon inside the egg is happy too. I'm sure of it. Keep that egg with you in your party of Pokemon. A Pokemon will hatch from it while you are traveling. I would be happy to know that it will help fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. Alright, so Cynthia gave us a, an egg which has a Togepi if I'm not mistaken. 
Togibi sucks. So yeah. Thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it. I insist. There we go. And we have the bike. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift up or down. In third gear, you can't go all that fast, but it's easier to control. In fourth gear, it, it gets harder to steer and stop, but it's fast. Really fast. So, yeah, okay. Um, What I'm gonna do is, since I keep on pressing the uh, button for assigning stuff, we are actually going to assign the bicycle right now. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Bicycle. Register. Yeah, there you go. We have the Y or the A key set. And yeah, we should have it. Very nice. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go exploring for a bit. Check what routes I can go and uh, I'll just cut it to the part where we actually can do something. Yeah? See you guys. Alright, so... Okay. Um, I think we're actually gonna go through Cycling Road. So, we're just gonna finish this battle. In the next episode... That's where we'll go through Cycling Road and hopefully to the next city. So, yeah, here you go. Yo, Cycling and Pokemon, which do you prefer? And I hope this guy does not have over level. And he has a Pikachu. Both electric types. And since our ability is rivalry, it's. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, anyway, since it's rivalry, we're not. We do more damage to uh, Pokemon with the same with the same gender, so that's really good considering that uh, it's a our our uh, Luxio is a male because there are a lot of male Pokemon in this game. So yeah. So yeah, I guess that does it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. And like I said, next episode we'll be going through Cycling Road or whatever or Mount Coronet. Uh, whatever whatever is uh, necessary for this play to, to get to the next city and yeah, that's it. I will see you guys. Bye. Bye and peace out